Hey guys, the season is upon us. You know what that means. Your job, your friends, maybe even your parents or your lady or man, but really lady, are gonna be having one of those ugly sweater parties and you're gonna have to go. You know what the worst part is about the ugly sweater parties? Finding an ugly sweater. It's actually quite difficult. I have solved that problem for you. It's the Smoke and Tire Ugly Sweater and the Smoke and Tire Ugly Sweater t-shirt. We got them going on right now. Here's what you gotta do. Teespring.com slash the smoke and tire. I'm only gonna sell you this cool ugly sweater one time and that's from November 30th to December 8th 2016. We're selling it once, we're throwing it away, that's gonna be the end. So if you want one you gotta get it now. I put the link in the description, just click it and go. Teespring.com slash the smoke and tire. Get your ugly sweater because it's the only chance you'll ever have. Hey guys, welcome to Malibu. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna nerd the fuck out on this one. This is the nerd special. The nerd, the king nerd car. I love it. This is a uh, 91, 92 uh, Lancia Delta Integrale HF Evolution 1. You got it. That's a long name. This is David and welcome all the way. I'm shaking your hand. Here <laughs> all the way from Calgary, uh, 51 North Car Club. You guys have heard of the, uh, the Manhattan Classic Car Club. Uh, some good friends over there. It's a good business idea. So he's taking it to Calgary. So uh, what kind of cars do you have up there? We got a Ferrari 308, Porsche 911. We got this and we want the members to help us pick the rest. So this is the, uh, that sounds great. And uh, if I were in Calgary, I would recommend it. <laughs> Uh, and when I come to Calgary, I'm going to borrow this. Name it. Uh, so, the Lancia Integrale, uh, this is the last version of it, pretty much. It's the last version that they w that was a works rally car. Okay. So, it's uh, turbo four-cylinder, all-wheel drive, big box flares. How much power is this thing making? Stock is 207. This is running, I think, about 250. Okay. So, you did a chip. A little bit. A chip. It's got the most 80s gauges that have ever <laughs> been put into a car. Um, I love them. And uh, a, 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 it's not a reverse tack that starts in the weirdest place. Um, there's, there's 80s Recaro cloth seats. I'm in love already. <laughs> so let's see how this thing drives. I'm super excited. Uh, I've never driven a Lancia Integrale. I've only seen maybe three or four of these ever. So here we go. <laughs> I expected it to sound, but it does sound cool. Yeah. Well, it's got the straight pipes on it, which is, is this a straight pipe? pipe. Yep. Oh yes. This is as cool as I thought it would be. I was hoping. I thought for some reason I might be disappointed. Uh, can we close the sunroof for yep. wind reasons? You can. Tight roads. Yeah, I think so, and just keep the revs really high. Okay, so tight roads we go. <laughs> it sounds almost super ruy, which is weird because it's an inline, not a boxer engine, but it's got kind of a rumble, especially on the outside. Yeah, on the lift off, the sounds unbelievable. Yeah. No, we can't. 
it's high right. enough reps for you? Yeah, it's good. Oh, guy walking the dog. I mean, you, when you even if you're walking your dog, when you see this car, you're like, oh, okay, launch ya. <laughs> wow, really sharp turn in. <laughs> ah, yes. Now, these are not the stock wheels, are they? Actually, they're stock for the final edition. Okay. So this is what they put on the rally cars. Now, these are replicas, so they're a little heavier. Right, but they look like they're an inch bigger than this car would have come with. Is they're that new? Exactly right. New, yep. Yeah. But this, this is what the rally car would have. Here's where it gets really? That's crazy. Yep. You'd think the rally car would have smaller would. with a little more sidewall. They look dope, but they look like they're repros that are an inch bigger. Man, it really does handle. You got to do a lot of a lot of shuffling the wheel around, but woohoo! Oh, this thing is great. What does it weigh? Do you think? Yeah, twenty eight hundred pounds. Twenty eight hundred. Yeah. So it's it's four hundred pounds lighter than my Focus RS. All of which uh, in the Focus go to safety, right. <laughs> safety equipment, and nice materials. Yeah, you mentioned the visibility. Let's not roll this. Right. Uh, yeah. Is your fuel gauge working? Eh, it moves around. A oh, it bit. did. It just went. It yep. just went from zero to half. It's it just sloshes a little bit. I think they're like that from new. I'm sure they are. <laughs> this car is so cool. All right, it handles these downhills really nicely. Not not really getting much brake fade, but I'm not I'm not going at it that hard. No, I've I've had this thing on the track, and I haven't got the brakes to fade. Really? Yeah. yeah. How is it in a track thing? Awesome. Really? Epic. Epic. Oh, I'm actually. so happy to hear that. I would be so disappointed to find out that this thing stinks on a track. <laughs> I mean, there's a little bit of understeer as you're going to get, oh, but yeah, it's... you said there might be a little bit of... Yeah, it's, it's only the liner. You're fine. The liner is a yep. little dented up in there? Yeah. Okay. Uphill. How's the uphill power? The difference between on and off boost, man, is so old school. Oh, shut up, phone! <laughs> See, lag. Do we go to first yeah. here? Do you do, you, do, you do the downshift I first? I do, if I need to, yeah. Okay. Now, some people are not about the downshift. No, just give it a little bit of a rev and it'll go in. Oh, I wish I was alive in the 80s. I mean, I was, but I wish I was <laughs> Italian and driving rally cars in the 80s. This thing is intense. Oh, is that a little pop there? Yeah, that oh yeah, pops nice. and cracks all over the place on liftoff. <laughs> It corners flat, but in the tight stuff, like, it rolls, but you feel like it's supposed to. Like, it, it feels like the rolling is really helping you. Dude, this thing is so cool. I'm so glad you drove this <laughs> from Calgary. So, has it been a pain in the ass at all? You know what? It's actually been really good. I, I kind of came down with super low expectations. And uh, I was expecting to get, you know, I bought a whole trunk full of tools and parts <laughs> and stuff. It, it cracked a, um, a, a, a fuel, or sorry, a, a coolant cap. Okay. So I got another one at Pet Boys for four bucks. You could get a, a, a coolant cap for a launch at Pet Boys? No, they didn't have it, but I found something that worked. Okay. And it's all good. That's about it. The, cent the uh, central locking stopped working. Is it hydraulic or electric? The central locking? Yeah. It's it's uh it's electric. Oh, okay. So I think it's just a fuse or so something. So fixable. It's oh, not totally. like it's a Mercedes central no. locking. No, everything on this car is pretty simple. Except for the turbo plumbing, which is a nightmare. This car is so awesome. But you're you're Canadian, so we can't have this super good one in America yet. Actually I think you can you can get a 91 we, now, I think. Okay. Short what do these go California for? Like, these like 40, 50 grand? You know, it, it's so funny. It, it, it kind of depends. I think people don't realize what they're worth, but before I found this one, I was going to buy one in the UK for 38,000 pounds. So okay. that's, what, about 50 That's about US? 50 grand, yeah. yeah. And it was did a nice car, but it wasn't in perfect. Canada? I did. A guy had it tucked away in a garage for four years. Really? And uh, it didn't have a lot of love, so I've got probably about another 15 grand into it in a lot of hours. 15 grand into it. Okay, yeah. so it was a little rough when you found it? A little bit. I mean, not, you know, the thing that was nice about it is it was uh, solid. Like, there's not an ounce of rust on this because yeah. this car came from Japan. There's so much to like about this car, and it's so cool. I'm not disappointed in the least. This thing is exactly as awesome as I hoped it would be. What a lovely thing. I like, and I, you know what, I like the way these old cars go in and out of boost. Well, you play with it, right? Yeah, you play with it, and it, that, that, th the threshold where you get into boost is really fun. Oh, see that guy in the Evo 
Oh, he's super <laughs> jealous right now. He's super jealous. Yeah, it's funny. There's two different kinds of people who see this car. Half the people don't know what it is. Yeah. And other people will stop me in traffic to take yeah. pictures. Yeah, I would be the I'd be the completely freak out in traffic guy. My my uh, my R32 Skyline is the same way. For most people, old gray Nissan. For the people, because here we can't have right. we can just just start getting Skyline. So so for people who would know it, they would freak out. This is even more so because these are much more rare than Skylines. Such a cool car, and it's comfortable. Like I could drive this for like hours. It'd be great. I have, and you have. You <laughs> did. How many miles? Is this kilometers? Is kilometers. Eighty-two thousand kilometers. Yep. This is nice. The clutch is easy. It's so nice. Oh, I'm so happy this isn't a piece of crap. <laughs> that would have been so disappointing if it actually sucked, but it doesn't suck. It's really good. I'm glad you Thank like you it. Thank you so much, man. Pleasure. That was great, David. It's it's, it's toasty in here now. <laughs> yeah, uh, 51 North? Yep. 51 North Car Club. You can join the, the car club, and you can have as much fun as I just had um, <laughs> on a regular basis, it seems. That's awesome, man. Safe travels home. Thank Thanks, you for watching. Uh, check out uh, David's Wheel Well to see more pictures and information about what it takes to uh, to keep a 20-year-old Lancia <laughs> alive. Um, but if you ever have a chance, do find a way to drive one of these because it's really, really cool. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you later.